What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today we're going to review SoundDraw. This one is a music library that you can actually customize each one of these soundtracks to make them unique. They claim it's AI generated music, but at the end of the day, I think it's just a library that provides music depending on the settings that you set on the music mood, the genre and the bass and all those kind of things. But in this video, I will be covering what I like and dislike about Sound Draw, and I will be covering what the deal is about and what you're gonna get with that actual deal that's going on right now. So let's go jump over to this lifetime deal right now. All right, this is the lifetime deal that's going on right now, and it's only $69 for the lifetime deal. There's no stacking, there's no extra license tiers or anything like that. With those $69, you get unlimited use of Sound Draw. Now, they mentioned they compose entirely unique AI-generated music tracks based on theme or mood. Now, honestly, I think there's no AI behind this. I just think it's a music library and it gives you results based on the settings that you set. If they can prove me wrong, then comment in the description. But apart from that, I think what's really interesting about SoundDraw is that you can make these soundtracks unique by moving around the settings. Now, things that you should know about this deal is that they have this note right here. You cannot resell or distribute this music or for streaming platforms. So you can't claim it's yours, you can't resell it, but you can use it for commercial use. So that means you can use it for clients, for your own videos and all of that, but you just can't claim it's yours and kind of like get away with it and start reselling it. Safe credit music and creative music. YouTube monetization. So it's YouTube monetization, monetization safe, but if you do get a flag infringement for the music, you can claim it and say, hey, you know what? I have a lifetime deal for this and just go ahead and remove it and they'll just remove it for you, all right? So those are just things that you should know. Let's go into sound draw. This is the sound draw deal and one of the things I wanna show you first is this right here because obviously one of the most important things about a music deal is the license information. So this is royalty free music. So like I mentioned before, you can use this for clients and won't have any issues. If you do have a copyright infringement claim, well, this, are, this is a procedure that you have to do. And they provide a PDF file, which is this one right here. So basically they provide you the steps, what to do on YouTube and the things that you should provide. For example, the reason of objection and just say the music was purchased from SoundDraw and just say, hey, this is my account, go ahead and remove it, all right? Things that you should know. And this is their roadmap. I will leave that link in the description. Nothing much going on right now. I think this is due because they just barely launched this lifetime deal, so they want to get feedback. I hope that's the idea, and then they will be adding things to do. For now, it's pretty simple. Basically, they're going to add intro features, jingle features, and the ability to just adjust the master volume. Okay, enough said about that. Let's start this off by creating a brand new song right here, okay? You can set this to English and I think it's Japanese, the other one. Hey, I wanna go to my dashboard, create music. Okay, so this is how it's going to get started off and it's basically steps, all right? So basically the video theme, what do you wanna use it for? Vlog, talk v VGM, corporate advertisement, games, jingles is coming soon. So we'll just say it's gonna use for vlog, so video log, all right? And then what kind of mood do we want this for, right? It's gonna be happy, emotional, exciting, relaxing, peaceful. Um, let's just say we want it exciting, all right? Can we add two? No, just only one. And then we select the length. Um, again, this is something I will criticize about Sound Draw is that it's capped to five minutes. Come on, guys. If we actually want to use this for a vlog, I mean, it could be long. Imagine some drone shots. I mean, the video could be, I don't know, pretty long, right? Or for me, if I'm using this for my videos, they're probably around eight minutes to 12, 20 minutes range. So basically, I, am, I can't even use one of these. I'll have to chop and add two of these soundtracks to finish off my video. So a loop feature would be fantastic if you guys add it, okay? So well, let's just say cap it at five minutes because that's what we have. And then we have details. For example, select the tempo. Do we want slow, normal, or fast? In this case, let's just say we don't want slow. Select the instrument. So if you want these instruments to be give us the, the results, we'll keep them all on so we get the most results here. And select the genre. Um, they give us these options for the type that we selected. So for blog and exciting, we get this. We don't get the other ones. Not sure why. Then we click on create 
and it's gonna create us that music for us. Um, this is where I am skeptical about the AI feature because if this was provided by AI, why are they providing names for these? For example, Tropical House, Techno Pop, Future Bass. So they have names. These are already actual soundtracks that they have available on their library. They weren't randomly generated by AI. Like I mentioned before, if you guys can prove me wrong, comment in the description and let me know about the details. But okay, so let's just say we want to hear one of these. Electropop. Let me pull up the volume. Let's wait for that to load. All right, let's choose another one. Tropical House. Okay, let's go with tropical, tropical House. Let's just say that's what we want. We can edit this music, which is what we're gonna do. But other options that we have is that we can create similar music. We can download this music just like it is, and we can add it to keep. In this case, we're going to edit music. And this is the beauty about SoundDraw. This is the reason I would actually grab SoundDraw not because of the AI feature, I would use it because of this, because I, I can actually customize the soundtrack that they provided in general. So in this case, we have the options on the top. For example, we have the length again. If I go to plus, it's not gonna go further than five minutes. You see it's capped, 458. I can't go plus, but if I hit minus, I can make it shorter, okay? I can make it shorter. The BPM, which I don't know what it means, <laughs> but we'll play around with that in a bit. The instruments that they have, for example, the melody, the key, we'll play around with those, and the volumes for each one of these type of settings, all right? So we can edit the melody, the backing, the bass, the drum, and the fill. We can play this. Let's go back. It's flashing. Play um, Heads up, it's going to flash where the music is actually playing, and we'll edit these as we go. Added. So see how they are editing when I change these and I could turn these off and turn them off. Now based on all these settings that we have basically if we edit this song it's going to be unique because it's highly doubtful that someone is going to make the same similar changes for example if i just go crazy here it's going to be really hard for someone to actually have the same song but oh damn i hit, i hit backspace but someone to actually have that same song with those settings i'll have to start off again but you got the idea right so if i edit those Let's choose another one. Let's edit that one. So if I go crazy with that, it's highly unprovided. It's highly probable that someone is going to have that same soundtrack. But we can turn these on, off, and we can also change the volume for each one of these. And I'll hit play, and I'll move these around. So I'll hit play around here. Play. <laughs> Basically, I can turn off the whole song and keep some of it. Wow, I selected a really mysterious song. But yeah, we can change the volume for the type of settings that we have here on the left. We can also change the key. I'll, I'll choose another song because that's not really helpful for this type of video. So let me click play. That's a melody right now. Let's change the key to, for example, key 01, 01. And we're gonna click play again, same place. Play. See how it changed? Let's go into the highest one, 05. And we can also change the instruments. For example, it's sync chord one. We can change it, for example, to piano. Over here, let's just go a little bit, a little bit crazy. And drums. Apply. Let's wait for that to load. 
and let's test it again. These are all just random settings that I'm doing just so you can see those really hard changes. Obviously, if you're going to edit this for your own, for your own song that you might need, you would do this with real calm and do it right. It's a totally different song changing the instruments right there. Let's change this one to the highest one just to see what happens. Beeps, probably bips per minute, bass per minute, probably something like that. Let's go ahead and wait for that to load. Yeah, it's something that had to do with, with the minute. So it's way faster because we changed it to 118. So if you need a slower song, you go to 86. But you can see that we could change all of that to make a highly customizable song that no one else has, all right, based on the first setting that we have. We can download this. Let's go ahead and download it. It's going to, it's going to render it, so let's wait for that to render right now. Okay, here we have our song result. Let's go ahead and download it. It's 25 megabytes, so it's a high quality song. Let's just go ahead and open it, see what settings we have for the beeps per minute. It's WAV file. Let's go into get more info and 44.1 kilohertz. So it's a good file quality, all right? And it's WAV. So that's what you're going to get out of this. We're also going to get one of these links. So we can copy this. We could go into that link. Okay, it's gonna take us to sound draw. Let's go ahead and open it incognito mode. So this is someone that's not logged in and it's gonna ask us to log in. Give me a second, I'll create a quick account, see if that's possible. Okay, so I've just created a new account in incognito mode. This is someone random and it does have the sound settings that we have, 118, the instruments that we've selected, the key and the volume. So let's click play. Okay, so it is the same song. So yes, we can grab a shareable link, but they do have to create an account to actually hear it or modify them th themselves. But that's a good option that we have there. So basically, that is what you get with SoundDraw. So like I mentioned before, you select the videos, the settings, you get results of music right here. Then we customize that song to have our own customized song, okay? But basically, that is the lifetime deal. If you ask me, should I get this deal? I'd say depending if it fits your needs. So for example, in my case, if I need long songs, I mean longer than five minutes, then this probably de this deal won't be for me. But if I plan to use this for clients that have that I have to do videos that are short, for example, short commercial or something like that, yes, this could be a deal for me. But again, a lifetime deal for $69 is pretty hard to beat because let's just say that you liked a few songs from here. So just buying those songs by themselves would probably be more expensive than actually paying those $69. So at the end of the day, it is a sweet deal for $69 for a lifetime deal. Well guys, I thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment in the description down here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.